All right, welcome back to the PowerPoint presentation uh, for the portion of this course. Um, again, just like the Word presentation here, this is going to be incredibly short because there's just not a lot of features that we need to go over for the intent of this course. Uh, and then there will be a demonstration portion after this little presentation that we're going to go through. So again, Microsoft PowerPoint Overview released in 1987. Uh, Microsoft bought this company as well. Uh, yeah, and started as Mac only, uh, as, as it turns out. So a little bit of a, a weird start for Microsoft and what software they ended up buying and just converting into their own. Uh, and it's something that they've continued to do throughout the entire history of their company. Uh, they, they pick up things that work in the market and then just buy it. So uh, that's definitely a thing to think about and talk about later on. It's just outside the scope of this course. And then we need to highlight as well that Office 365 is fundamentally different than the desktop version. And especially when it comes to features, uh, 365 is going to have significantly less uh, in the way that the world is going at the moment. Uh, Office 365 and cloud-based software, everything is kind of the norm. So uh, understanding the differences between Office for 365 and desktop is relatively significant if you're making those decisions. All right, so the primary functions that we're gonna go over for PowerPoint, fonts, text, list and bullets, paragraphs, slides, shapes, animation, transitions, and themes, all right? So relatively short list here, uh, relatively quick to go over these things. And again, most of the people that are taking this course have been exposed to this on some level, even if it's something like Google Sheets. Uh, we're gonna go through the, the Microsoft version of that, obviously. Um, but most of these things are identical throughout the uh, similar software. Uh, there definitely seems to be a convergence within the PowerPoint slide deck phenomenon. All right. So with that said, here's a little screenshot of example what we're going to do. Uh, we're we're going to essentially just recreate that intro uh, slideshow that we did in the beginning of the course here uh, and then we're going to add some animations to it so and transitions that's all i'm going to do for this one demonstration is going to be relatively short and this presentation is over so i'll see you in the demonstration portion all right welcome to the demonstration portion of the powerpoint section of this curriculum uh, it's going to be relatively short we're going to alter the initial powerpoint that we had from the beginning um, and just get a feel for the basic features of powerpoint and this is going to get you well on your way to understanding uh, just how to use this appropriately um, and there are a lot more features in PowerPoint uh, that we're not going to go over. Same thing with Word, but the, the chances that you're going to remember them five years from now when you actually need it is very, very low. So I'm not even going to spend time on it. All right. So with that said, we are going to alter this page real quick. Okay. So let's start with some very, very easy things. Let's start with... A new text box. So as you can see down here, we have a little bit of a dead space. Now, obviously, this is going to be content that doesn't exist for this course, but it doesn't matter. It gets the point across. Now, this is going to be difficult to see for you guys because it's a black background with a black border. But now you can see this little text box here. So exactly the same as Word. You go to insert and then you go to text box. Now, this brought me back home. Also notice that Century Gothic, which is the theme of this uh, template that I have, uh, was auto-selected when everything else is Arial. We can fix that here in a second. So the first thing I want to do is uh, test topic. Okay, test topic. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to fit and make sure that the style is the same across all these little sections here. So what I'm going to have to do now is come up to bullets, which happens to be this little icon right here. Okay. And then I'm going to come 
down to arrows. Now, notice that you have a bunch of options here. And then under bullets and numbering, you can have custom bullets if you want to go that route. We're not going to do that here. We're going to use the arrows. Okay. Notice that my arrow is white and not green. We will fix that here in a second. All right. Now we're going to enter and then we're going to hit tab to bring this over. Okay. We're going to call that test one, test two, test three. Okay. So now that we have three sub categories here. Okay. Let's go ahead and fix the information that's going on here. So we've got to change this from Century Gothic to Arial, which is not selected at the moment, Arial. There we go. And then this has to come up to 24 like the rest. All right. And notice that we have different colors for the main topic here. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to highlight this. The little float is going to come up and now it's gone because I was messing around. Let's come up here to theme colors. Let's go ahead and make this yellow. Okay. And then we're going to make the bullets themselves. So we're going to highlight all of this. We're going to make the bullets themselves. We're going to right click bullets. Come on. We're going to go to bullets and numbering now. Color of green. And notice that our little arrow bullet things are officially green now. Okay. So very, very easy topic. A little text box, add some text, add a bullet, and then you can indent using tab for those bullets. And this is how you recreate this little system here. So, and the same thing for over here. Now notice that this entire thing is a text box, but let's say security and IT, we want to promote to purple. We can do that. You highlight security to IT and you change the text to purple. And I'll also notice because this over here has the green bullets that that bullet stayed green. All right, very simple. Okay. Same thing over here. And the only other thing that we need to cover on this uh, to cover the things that I actually wanted to cover because we, we've done basically all of it now is animations and transitions. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on this. All right. I'm going to make sure that this is active. So this is active now. I'm going to come up here to animation animation and we definitely want a fly in for this one all right notice that it auto selected these sections based on our little nesting here that is nice i would much rather have this come in from the left though like so and then i'm going to do the same thing over here okay still want to fly in we're going to change effect options to the right we're going to do the same one here fly in effect options from the right and then this one we will fade in actually no we'll we'll yeah we'll float in like that just to have a different animation okay so at this point we probably should have a little bit more control over how these things are actually animated. So instead of on click, let's go with after previous, which is over here, reorder animation. Okay, I am looking for that. Okay, so what this is doing is going left, then right, and then the center, which is not what we want. Well, at least not what I want for this demonstration. I want to change that. So both left and right are the same and they come in and then the center floats up at the same time as well. So there is a couple of ways to handle that problem. So if we come over here after previous duration delay, okay, there is that. This one's on click. I do not want on click duration after previous. 
Okay, I'm pretty sure these are half seconds. Yep. So let's uh, move that down to a half second right here. Okay, we're going to preview this. Okay, still not doing what I wanted. Okay, I'm going to open up this thing up here called an animation plane. So this is going to tell me what is going on uh, with these animations. So we have a bunch of ones over here. One, two, three. So there's that order. Four, this is a three, and this is a four. Okay. So if we play all, not what I was looking for. So let's open this up real quick. Okay, I definitely want after previous. Timing, delay, start. At the previous, none. Okay, so that is doing what I want by level one paragraphs. All right, so this is gonna change the, the one through three on the left-hand side here. So this is doing it by paragraphs, all right? I don't want that, I want as one object. There we go. So now that comes in from the left moving towards the right as a single object. And I'm going to do that for everything else. Okay, so there's that. Okay, effect options. Timing after previous. As one object. Okay. Same thing over here. Act options as one object. Okay, so that seems to change all of them, which is fine. That's what I was going for. Okay. And then this last one. Fact options. Blah, 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 blah. After previous has one option. Okay, so there is that. So I'm going to play from here, see what we got. Okay, not what I was looking for. Let's go ahead and group these together. Group, this is gonna treat it as one object. I'm gonna to have to add in that animation again. So we're gonna have fly in effect options from right. And then group four, we're going to alter this after previous. And then effect options. Okay, timing after previous. Delay, none. Okay, so that's fine. Now also notice this little waterfall effect here of green bars, which is this, this, and this. Okay, we actually want all of this at the same time. So I am going to mess around with this real quick to see if we can get that. Now I do have this set to on previous. So let's try on click. Let's try on click here as well. So now these are lined up. So there's no waterfall effect going on here, but I need to make sure that this works as I intended. And that seems to not be true. So let's go over here, effect options. Let's change this to on click. Okay, we're gonna preview all of it. All right, so this is getting a little bit better, but I still want all of this to happen at the same time. Okay, very, very interesting. Seconds, no, 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 no. Animation plane, nope. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go back into the options here. I'm missing something. 
timing delay and I have a negative nope uh, Anime is part of a secret start effect on group four. No, 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 no. No. Nope. There's something wrong here. Effect options. It's part of a click sequence. Okay, so now I'm also concerned that if I go into uh, the PowerPoint mode here, then of course layout. Yeah, I'm gonna have to click with those and that's not what I was looking for. So it does not seem like PowerPoint is giving us an ability to do this all in order. Uh, at the same time. So we're going to have to deal with uh, after previous, which is meh. Okay, there's that. We have that waterfall effect here. So if I go back to F5, okay, and I go into this, okay, could be worse. Could be worse. All right, I'm going to do I'm going to Google how to do this. Uh, I'm not completely convinced that you can't. So PowerPoint, multiple animations, same time. Here we go. No, no, no. I don't want multiple animations on one object. This one. Yeah, this is telling me that I have to group all those in, in the same object and then I just have one animation. So having uh, multiple animations, if you want to do it like this, uh, you're going to have to do it with that waterfall. So there is that. And I'm showing you guys looking things up like this just because, again, you're not going to memorize everything. You're going to forget, and then you're going to run into things like this where you're trying to do something, and you're not sure if the software itself even allows you to do it. So it seems like the answer there is no. All right. Now, there's that. We, we just covered animations, a little quick overview. And again, I'm not doing this hyper thoroughly because one, you're going to have to Google it anyways. And then two, uh, most of you guys have been uh, exposed to this and we need to move on to more important things. So, and now the next thing that we need to cover, and it's going to be the last thing is transitions. Now transitions and animations are basically the same except for the transition is based between slides, animations between objects. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to highlight all of these slides and I am going to, what one should we pick here? Oh no, let's do doors. Okay, there's that. We have doors here. I'm going to do that. All right. Okay. And now you have your transitions between all of the slides and a little animation on one of the first ones. So that is that. That is all we're going to go over for PowerPoint. Again, most of you guys have been exposed to it. It is a waste of time uh, to go over this any further if you have any questions if you're an for state student go ahead and hit me up on discord and if not i will see you in the next one which is excel and that is going to be a little bit more of a project all right see you then